Now we will briefly discuss now the application of medicinal maggots. The first step in application uh, is to prepare the periphery uh, around the wound and we typically will do that with something to make the wound tacky like pre-tape or tincture of benzoin which you see here being applied uh, so that the hydrocolloid dressing which you see here cut into strips will be able to be applied much more easily uh, to the periphery of the wound. It's very important to have this applied well so as to trap the larvae uh, in the area that you want to have debrided and that's what you see being done here along all lengths of the wound. Our next step is to apply a sterile nylon chiffon mesh which you see here. This is also known as wound contact layer. Uh, this can then be applied uh, within the boundaries of the hydrocolloid dressing and this forms the intimate layer where the larvae will live. This can then be applied over some moist 2x2's or 4x4's and now we are ready to apply the maggots to that uh, construct. The maggots come shipped in a sterile vial. They can then be coaxed out of that vial. We typically will use a tongue depressor. It's very important to put them into the center uh, of your chiffon dressing because they do tend to migrate out rather quickly. So time is of the essence in this at this point. You then take that entire chiffon and dressing construct and apply it directly to the wound as rapidly as possible and after that we will apply along the periphery of the gauze and nylon a tape that is waterproof, a neoprene tape noting here that we are leaving the central part uh, of the uh, dressing open to air so that it can breathe and after that you can apply whatever you like we typically will use a cling type dressing to complete the construct